And now we really come to the final uh, wrap-up session of the meeting. And uh, before I start asking you, the audience, and everybody, where do we go from here? I think it would be appropriate uh, to thank our two distinguished speakers for their incredible contributions to this meeting. And just, uh, they, have, uh, they are both extremely busy, and they responded to us uh, at a relatively short notice, and uh, have really been fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, next, you, the audience, because again, uh, this is the inaugural uh, seminar, and we have uh, had a, a short notice, and many of us were worried about uh, the short notice and uh, how many of you would come and uh, contribute, but you have, and we thank you as well. Um, and uh, the last thing I would like, is not but not least, is uh, Maria Rogers and uh, the um, <coughs> people who really worked extremely hard uh, to make this happen again within a short period and witness uh, the nice program and all what goes with it. Thank you, Maria, and so thank you, everybody who worked very hard. Now, where do we go from here? Now, really, uh, this series of seminars uh, were conceived uh, with QCRC and the, hospital, and the Heart Hospital uh, as a means of, as I said before, um, actually um, fostering interaction between QCRC dedicated to research and the hospital dedicated uh, to high quality healthcare delivery and um, move forwards uh, as a group together. Uh, so um, my first question would be um, in trying to determine um, where do we go from here, is to ask your uh, view about how uh, do you view this inaugural meeting. And don't be bashful. We've already uh, thanked our speakers. Uh, but the format and what uh, has come out, uh, do you approve of that? And do you think it has been useful? Uh, less than optimal or nearly useless. So those who think it is, uh, it has been uh, useful, can you raise your hand? Well, that's a, a vast majority. I can't see anybody, any hand to people. And uh, those who think it has been useless. <laughs> okay. Um, the next question is um, the how long should it be? One day should it be divided over two days, and what day of the week uh, should it be? This is something we can discuss later if you like. Uh, is the weekend a suitable time? Dr. Almona says yes, yes, yes. You, the audience, uh, like that? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, how often should we have this meeting? I've had uh, uh, several people saying it should be... Weekly. <laughs> so, suggestions, weekly, uh, once a month, six weeks, once every six months, once every six months, 
twice a year. Quarterly is good. Quarterly sounds reasonable. Uh, uh, yes, everybody. Quarterly, because it does take a fair amount of preparation. It also, as you have seen, people need to assimilate what's being said. If it, if it becomes too frequent, it's not. There will be an ongoing uh, training, uh, lecture series, and so on. But that's not the same thing. As you have seen, the seminar is more uh, in-depth type of analysis, uh, with a really trying to have a very heavy twist towards research, like you have seen, including innovative research. So that's. Uh, uh, that leads me immediately into the next thing is, uh, do you think the level uh, has been correct? Should it have been uh, less uh, high powered, if you like, if for the lack of a better term, Dr. Uh, or this was the right level? Obviously, you have had the latest of everything. Uh, is this too exhausting and uh, of not of value, or that is how we should uh, keep the level at? Uh, who wants to answer that? Should should we? Uh, has it been useful in terms of that level of uh, intensity or not? It depends on your target audience. If your target is the cardiology community of Qatar, then this is great. Hmm. But if you are uh, Learning to involve more uh, uh, of a generalized physician uh, thing, uh, maybe some basic uh, things should be introduced. Excellent uh, answer. So it might be a mixture should be called for. And uh, one suggestion which was uh, mentioned is more practical uh, application, if you like, if you like, like what we have heard from. Uh, uh, Dr. Olivato at the beginning, just bring it to uh, the real world about patients, discussing patients, and how would what we have had actually applies uh, to patients. Uh, so that's, thank you, sir. Any other points you want to bring? Yes. Could we include a printed material of the lectures, a summary, or a That's a, another so excellent uh, suggestion. Uh, more work for Maria. <laughs> Are you listening, Maria? Yes, you can hear a voice. Uh, what do you think? In answer to this, uh, um, uh, the whole seminar was... I, I was going to say that, uh, yeah, the whole seminar is going to be on the website of QCRC, uh, so that would be, but uh, I, as I understood it, you wanted the printed material, not necessarily the abstracts, because I think the abstracts um, from very, uh, I'm speaking from experience now, uh, I am lazy by nature, and uh, writing <laughs> abstracts. <laughs> Uh, sometimes is uh, is too much for extremely busy uh, people, but possibly what I I meant some key references as a as a as, as a little. Um, but yes, yeah. Prof, I was going to say maybe one good compromise is to make the slides of the speakers available because that shows that they give people before or after. Well. Hopefully in advance, shortly in advance of the meeting, because that give, most of them give the key points, yeah. and if anyone yeah, yeah. wants to pursue individual parts, it's easy yeah. to do so. Excellent, thank because you, it's thank it's you very much. Yeah. But it's again uh, creating more work for the distinguished speakers. Uh, Carlo? Well, uh, in the slides you have all the references, so I think that's uh, maybe a good compromise, and uh, also you, you've you follow the. Uh, I personally find it quite uh, difficult to read uh, and see talks uh, I didn't uh, listen to live, 
while uh, I always enjoy reviewing, for instance, presentations of uh, uh, trials that I, 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 I had the benefit to see uh, directly in a Congress. So I hope uh, that the recording will be good enough in quality to also show some details, including the reference, if they want to read the original um, uh, manuscripts. Uh, but uh, there is always room for improvement. And from my side, I'm happy to give all the slides. You, you happy to give all the slides. Happy to give all the mm -hmm. slides. Because uh, as it happens, uh, many of these key lectures will be published in the journal. journal. Yeah. So, uh, for example, the Stand for Life uh, will be in the journal. Uh, so that is after the meeting, but you will. I can't remember who is asking the question, but uh, you want them before. And key references, uh, maybe as PDFs, or that was the question. That could be considered uh, from the group. Um, okay, the last issue uh, is the topic. And I know Dr. Saikhouni has strong views about that. And many of you could have. Yes? Before you go to the topic, if I may go back to the level. Yes, I sir. I think this is extremely important because in the cardiology, in the heart hospital, we have nurses, we have doctors, we have fellows, we have specialists, we have consultants. And I think if, the, uh, if one would give some form of background and take the audience from down up, so everybody will have something to benefit from the lecture. Otherwise, after one or two, you may find that some of the audience drop will drop out and say, well, this is way above my head. The last one was, I couldn't understand anything. I just wasted two days. So if the, if the speakers would be made, made aware uh, to tune their talk or widen the scope a little bit, even give them a little bit more time, so they address issues in a way that is understood by a wider section of the cardiology community. Absolutely, I think, um, if I may, if to be fair, uh, all the speakers, including you, sir, uh, had a very good introduction, which uh, started with what's the fast physiology, what am I talking about, why are primary PCI is important, you show this, all that. I think uh, the nurses and uh, technicians and and the scientists, the scientists sitting back there uh, are silent. We could ask them, uh, did the nurses enjoy and uh, benefit from this meeting? How many nurses we have in the room? Quite a good number. Did you benefit from the, did you want more patient oriented uh, stuff or you you followed what what went down what, what were the discussions all about so you will come next time <laughs> okay uh, the scientists well we all scientists they're all doctors and nurses everybody is scientists but these are basic scientists they are molecular modeling all right with regard to topic, last time uh, there, there will be like a, a committee is looking into this, but we need to, to hear you, the audience, because that's w what we are uh, targeting. Uh, it was felt that coronary heart disease uh, is the main important issue uh, the hospital is dealing with, and that's why uh, the um, options for myocardial revascularization was chosen. There are many other things like heart failure, inherited heart muscle disease. Uh, one suggestion has been, and we uh, did debate that among ourselves, Dr. Chaikoni, is uh, uh, the idea of uh, hybrid operations and the use of uh, um, type of hybrid rooms and so on. Should we continue with uh, revascularization and s hybrid rooms or should we go to um, 
heart failure and uh, inherited heart muscle disease. Oh. Heart failure, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, who uh, shall we take? Um, just uh, should we move to heart failure? Those who think we should go to heart failure, raise their hands. Can I have another suggestion, Paul? Yes, sir. <coughs> um, maybe um, um, what, uh, uh, the way to attract more people. Uh, a forgot, a forgotten uh, area is the primary prevention uh, of, of cardiovascular disease. Uh, if we focus on that area, I think we will probably attract more, more people to attend. And secondary prevention. And sec yeah, prevention of cardiovascular disease would be primary or secondary. Um, okay. um, uh, that could be a topic, but should we be tackling it early uh, in the series or as we uh, go on because we're trying to um, in the programs which are going now some of them uh, are uh, to do with the genetics uh, of heart failure uh, the next meeting for example well, what I have omitted to talk about is uh, that uh, there is another parallel series uh, of meetings uh, like the one in June, uh, that is uh, the Qatar uh, Heart Science ser uh, Series, and that is more um, high powered, if you like. And the next topic is heart failure. Uh, beyond pharmacological treatment. And there is a lot of genetics, uh, epidemiology, um, molecular mechanisms, and left ventricular assist devices, and things like that. Should we get into uh, prevention, uh, primary and secondary cardio and risk stratification? That could be quite exciting. Uh, Dr. Bonner? <laughs> Put you on the spot. I, th I think sooner or later, whether we do that early on or later, I think uh, I, I think a. Uh, I believe a discussion on the prevention of uh, cardiovascular disease, discussing perhaps some of the uh, epidemiology of the uh, disease in, in, uh, we in the region would be important, and dealing with both primary and secondary. Whether that's discussed, you know, uh, next time or. Uh, in, in, in several months, but uh, sooner or later, I think, as, as, you, as, we, as we talk about the overall, you know, um, portfolio of topics, this would be an important one to, to discuss. Uh, thank you for the suggestion. Absolutely excellent. And so we could combine it uh, with epidemiology, Framingham. We are trying to set to be part of the, the Doha Heart Study or the Qatar Heart Study. Uh, so that could be there will be part of that in the in the next meeting where we start about epidemiology of heart disease around the world. So that could be linked, but it could be focused more uh, on to prevention. Thank you, Dr. Abdullahi. Any other suggestion? We haven't decided what to do next, but that's uh, something. There was more uh, feeling towards heart failure. I um, mean, you could argue both ways, because now that we started on coronary heart disease, but should we be coronary heart disease, coronary heart disease, or uh, how often is uh, the use of the hybrid um, room uh, that as pressing as the heart failure, for example. So. I think with that, I think I will stop and uh, leave it uh, to the committees to come back to you, uh, unless somebody wants to really bring up something which we have completely omitted. Any burning points? No, 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 no. But thank you very much indeed, and uh, enjoy the evening.